Hi, welcome back to Flying Into the Eagle's Nest with me, Lizzie De Silva, for Group Editors Live. Ons het vandag weer terug hier vir die hoofafrichter daar van die SVD Arende, Zijn Kirschner. En ons wil een met hom gesels. Die SA Beker reeks het klaargemaak verlede naweek, nadat hulle die laaste wedstrijd in die Luitperts gespeel het. Zijn, enige commentaar oor laas naweekse wedstrijd? Ek denk het was een wedstrijd, dank julle zet, om my terug te het in julle studio. Um, ek denk het is definitief een wedstrijd wat ons uit die competitie vooral met die draai na die eerste divisie Curry Cup, um, wat ons wel definitief geteken het, vooral na um, performance die in Grieko's wat so goed verloop het. En ek denk uh, die manier van <coughs> hoe ding uitgeloop het laas na wie die luip herde, was nogal iets van heel te mal teleerstellend. So en so gepraat van teleerstelling zijn, um, die reeks het nou nie um, afgeloop en ons het nou nie allemaal wil mos nou allemaal wil wen. So kan jy wen resultate. So ons het nou nie daar uitgekom nie. Um, hoogtepunte en laagtepunte wat jy kan uitleg vir ons oor die, die hele reeks, die wedstrijde wat jy gespeel het. I think um, definitely uh, massive highlights and definitely the the big disappointing thing obviously in the process of uh, of high performance sport is uh, looking at the results, looking at what, uh, two and seven, so uh, they're definitely disappointing. Um, I think the fact that everybody within um, the group that was uh, that was here, that they got a chance to showcase their ability against some of the best uh, in our current uh, South African domestic league. So I think that was a plus, um, allowing the guys that exposure and obviously uh, measuring themselves where they currently are. I think for me personally, um, I look back at um, the warm-up game we played against Eastern Province. Mm-hmm. So that was quite early in the season. Um, they already, I could see that how many other things plays, which I've probably, <laughs> um, probably knew, but how those type of things plays a role towards the outcome. I think uh, for majority of the public, which is result focused, which is quite important. And if that's the case, I mean, I'm the type of guy I like to be honest and straight with myself. If that's the case, the board has to make decisions and they have to move forward, then I'm definitely not the guy um, that they felt from a result perspective um, that should be in the seat from a, from a head coach. Um, as, a, as a pro, or so let me put it this way, as an ex-pro athlete, the process of developing that product into becoming the status of the title. That became of much importance to me. I find that if I look at the bigger picture that we surround ourselves within the high performance environment, especially <clears throat> in our local region, I think it's important that we send the right message from the title that majority of the players hold under the under the mother boy. Saying that is is that my focus completely changed. Result is important, but I could more see that majority of these lads will eventually find themselves in great opportunities, but their status of professionalism wouldn't allow them to go any further than that opportunity. And that for me would be of great disappointment personally, as I would see that I would have totally failed them. So, my way of going about things internally went totally different and the lads would understand that the person for me is always more important, which will be eventually based on the performance. And I think them as a group and probably majority of the public, it's where they're focused into and that's performance. Now, I'm not saying that uh, the lads are broken when it comes to results yeah definitely but you need a very very strong individual to be able to handle the pressures 
and the demands of this industry. Um, so yeah, for me as Zane, that became quite important. Um, from a result status, I will definitely leave. I will definitely leave. Should it be that? Should it be <clears throat> the case? I would definitely leave this campaign with uh, with a, with 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 very bad taste in my mouth. But in the process that I believe in of creating that professional status, where there is an environment <clears throat> or where there isn't a player, I will never change on that. And Angela, now for the next three weeks, so three weeks. Is jullie nou af? Wat leeft voor voor jij in die span? Um, is jullie nou terugkeer na die drie weken van afscheid? Wat jullie nou gaan geniet? Ja, yeah, obviously. Um, inside probably is that majority of the lads obviously um, their contracts runs from a certain period to a certain period. The first division curry cup starts mid June, okay. and that will run until the end of uh, July, which is a single round. Um, <clears throat> which you will have, if I'm correct, you'll have Eastern Province, uh, Border Bulldogs at home. You've got two away games. And then obviously um, you still have the Falcons back, back in George. So that's the next uh, six, seven weeks. That's going to that's gonna run out till a, till a, till a playoff, whichever's uh, second, uh, first, first and second, sorry. Jy sê, gogo vir my, as hy net iets sê wat ek nou sommer nou hier sê daan, terwyl jy nou so praat, so die, so nou die eerste divisie reeks sal dan nou na die drie weke begin. Hoe bly die ouwens nou fiks en gereed, wat sê dan nou moet terugkeer, jy weet dat hulle op top vol is? Nou, look, um, the guys, um, even though the results didn't show it, but from a, from a, from a working perspective behind the scenes, there's been a good, <coughs> good bit of work done, um, I think, uh, from a player welfare perspective, mm -hmm. They are deservant of their normal 10, 10 to 14 day break. Um, so the guys are on a bit of a break at the moment and they will have a short planning session coming in and then obviously get back to um, get back to business um, a week just before the first game. Okay. And then Anna, the, the critique of the public, I think it's now so much, I don't know, people can see this social media. Uh, die blije kunnen mensen moesten ook niet, als ook klomp trollen ook daar wat ja, allemaal um, maar een vijf cent om in die collecte wordt te gooien zie ik altijd. Dus ik zie nou was namelijk kritiek wat je gevat het rondom jullie performance. Mensen zullen so wel weten. Ik moet zeggen daar is um, bij het toeschouwers geweest wat 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 altijd zal zien. Je weet alle alle zien die grotere prinkje. Dit is een jongspan. Um, dit moet niet nou gaan. Oor je weet. Um, Games winnen. Um, ik denk mensen zien dan meer goed als wat die normale toeschouwer zien. En ik moet zeggen, alle commentaren was redelijk positief geweest. En dan krijg je maar nou van die mensen wat ons wel winnen. En ons allemaal wel winnen. Um, maar per keer is daar ook iets meer en iets groter. Je weet achter wanneer mens iets bezig is, of wanneer je bezig is nog om aan iets te bouwen. Results should be important, is it? But I definitely think results should never overtake systematical plastering. Understand? And as soon as that becomes of more importance, we're going to miss the bigger picture. Like I said, it would be unfair from me allowing the guys to succeed in the environment where we currently are, right? And they're getting an opportunity to the next level. Mm -hmm. Which that never lex never might expect and demand more from them just from the environment status perspective. Once that happens, did I succeed in what I was supposed to do or did I fail? Results is not gonna give the kid the, the clarity of success. Um, if you if you're talking about um, the public from a statement and the opinion. I mean, that's the public, you're 100%. We are currently living in an era where social media is on the forefront and majority of things are being said in the way it's been said. Um, personal experience, um, youngster going, myself, youngster going to, 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 to Greek was, 
um, and the journalist wrote in the in the one in the one weekend Kirshner probably the best thing that has hit uh, South African rugby as a youngster. A week later or two weeks later, the same journalist wrote Kirshner the biggest <laughs> fluke that could have ever hit South African rugby. So. At a young age, then, then I had to decide as a person, not as a rugby player, as a person, how will those things from the external affect you as a person? And I think that is the status of professionalism. And I'm fighting for an example of what the status should be, the embodiment, and that to follow within our mother body, within the status of professionalism. And if, if the men that we currently have is not going to resemble that from a lifestyle perspective. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm not your man. Rugby is, uh, I always say, if rugby is not the issue, right? Mm -hmm. Should we then really focus on results? I'm a person, people, and uh, I will fight to make the best out of individuals and out of groups, but definitely um, that's take a process, and uh, maybe I am too hard, too direct, and probably still too innocent for this industry. So claim that you're old school, okay? <laughs> yeah, old school, yes. Next one, I mean, it's Alles van me is, yeah. alles van me is van a, van a, van a beginsel perspective. Yeah. As old school. Yeah. So, uh, um, yeah. Yeah, that's next fault, I mean. So say a bit for me, what can you now make it three weeks, what you now have? Heck, no. <laughs> now look, for me, I continue with, it's 24-7, 365. Obviously, it's a recap now on the campaign, um, regardless of... Um, the results, it's how we got to those, to those, um, to those outcomes and eventually see where we can, what, what, what summary we get to and planning ahead, whether it is me or in that scenario, leave the environment in such a way that there is a blueprint and uh, something to work from. And as I said, before we close, I'd just like to say thank you to you and the group editors for your continuous uh, patience as we go on a week on week basis. Uh, thanks for that uh, opportunity and platform. And then obviously um, for the public, for your support throughout this campaign. Um, yeah, we're all disappointed. But um, coming in your message and your support, we definitely respected and appreciated that. To our sponsors and our partners, thank you for your continuous backing. Um, and hope to have your continuous support throughout what's going to happen with SWD. Thanks a lot. Wel, daar het ons dit. Bye bye, dankie zijn dat jy aangekom het vandag en tyd uitgekoop het om bykie saam met ons te praat. Ek hoop jy in die span het een baie lekker aftijd en jylle lekker ris en dat jylle vars en vol woema weer terugkom. Thank you very much for joining us. I'm Lizette Silva for Group Editors Live.